Hey, what's up everyone? Tyler Ramsey here taking a short break from our attacking AWS pathway and try hack me. Just wanted to share with you guys a new feature I just stumbled across on Hack the Box that I really think it is going to transform the way many of us learn, especially those who might be new to pen testing, new to cybersecurity. So I just want to share my screen and let's review uh, this blog and this feature together real quickly. And I'll offer you some of my initial thoughts as someone who has been really a longtime user of both Hack the Box and Try Hack Me and how I think this will help you really reach your goals and learn more about pen testing. So this is what they just released, I think maybe today july oh no it's a couple of days ago i'm late to the game by three days but it says accelerate your cybersecurity learning with the new guided mode feature now for those who know hack the box you know that hack the box is historically a very difficult platform i remember the days to make an account hack the box you had to literally hack your way in now they've made it more accessible likely to compete with the likes of try hack me they also offer hack the box academy but even the hack the box main platform still remained quite difficult sometimes like overly difficult like even the easy machines have me at times wanting to uh, punch my computer screen if i'm being totally honest with you and they just released this guided mode feature that makes it feel probably a little more like try hack me so let's understand kind of what this is so early in October of 2021, we revamped Starting Point. Now these are a set of beginner friendly labs that are also really cool. They provide a smooth introduction to hands-on hacking and they become the most played content. So what do they decide to do? They decide to replicate this approach and expand it to a bigger portion of our content. To support those looking to speed up their mastery of essential cybersecurity concepts, they've introduced a new way to practice, our new guided mode feature. It provides further direction to solve machines. So we have first this improved machine profile, which I really like this because here's a few things that it does you can get information in the lab including the attacks to be performed so if you're looking to maybe learn a specific attack you can search for that and find labs that have that specific attack the techniques involved and a helpful synopsis in the about section and more in depth users can get a quick summary of the technology and tools that can be found in the machine so area of interest latest vulnerabilities and systems and broad categories. So if you're looking for a specific vulnerability to exploit, once again, cool way that you can find it in this machine profile. And they've talked previously about the importance of using walkthroughs. Really excellent blog if you guys check that out. Uh, we often think, or at least I often thought when I first got into pen testing, that if you look at a walkthrough, you lost. But that's not true, guys. Like I use walkthroughs all the time. Even when I was studying for the OSAP, I was constantly using walkthroughs because at the end of the day, you do not know what you don't know. And when you look at a walkthrough, you just look at it till you're no longer stuck, go back and you know essentially try harder till you get stuck again and go back at that walkthrough. But walkthroughs are not bad. It, it, it's just like if you're in a pen testing job, like what I do now, I'm a pen tester. If I'm stuck on an assessment, I'll reach out to a more senior pen tester to our team and say, hey, can you give me a second set of eyes? What are some common things I might be missing? That's like a real life walkthrough. Not bad, don't overly use it, but but they can be super helpful. So here we have this guided mode premium feature. This is available to anyone with the VIP or VIP plus subscription, and it can be found under the play machine section. I'll show you guys this in just a, li a little bit. And here you'll be asked to select between two modes, adventure mode, which is the classic hack the box way of learning and solving labs. You'll be provided with an IP address, and after that, get to work. And here's the new one, guided mode. Our new premium feature, a set of questions acting as guide paths will appear to show you the intended path for each machine, coaching you along to the root flag. So you're sitting down with maybe a, a little more of a senior pen tester and not giving you the answer, but just giving you some hints. Maybe check this, maybe see how many ports are open on Inmap. And they see it as a new groundbreaking feature for anyone practicing with machines. And I really think it is like, I'm so excited to do a stream and just go through some of these easy machines and follow this guide in mode to see a little more about what it is like. It offers a smooth transition. We already talked about that a little bit. And here are some important notes to know for guided machines. So since guided machines offer additional support to solve a machine, it can only be enabled on easy retired machines where no points are rewarded and at launch it will be enabled on 80 plus machines going forward every easy machine that goes from active to retired will support guided mode once again really cool feature it's available to vip and vip plus subscribers so if you just have a basic hack the box sub you'll be able to do this users on a free plan will be able to use a guided mode feature the first two weeks after a machine retires and on free retire machines eventually release so that's also pretty cool even for those on the free plan and it does not replace official walkthroughs but it provides a different way to approach the lab which i like so it's not spoiling it it's just giving some uh more helpful hints where a walkthrough actually tells you here's how to do it this is giving you hints 
and you can still use a walkthrough if you get uh, fully stuck on that. Provides a little more information here, and here's what it looks like, guys. So I, uh, this is a machine that I uh, rooted a while back, and it's actually a retired free machine, so you can do it on this one. I launched the machine, and you can see we have two modes. So here is adventure mode. On adventure mode, it just says, hey, what's the user flag and what is a root flag? If we switch that over to guided mode, now I can't see all the tasks because I haven't gone through it, even though you can see I have actually already pwned this machine, but we get an idea. The first task is just how many TCP ports are open on the remote host, and I'm guessing each one of these tasks is a slightly different hint, not an answer, but a hint that guides you through it. And then of course, hey, what's the flag located in fill user's home directory? So it tells us where the flag is at and submit the flag located in the roots home directory, and we can do that there. If we look over at the machine info, here are a look, top level of categories for inject. It looks like they haven't actually put the categories in here yet, so this must all be uh, pretty new, but you can see where areas of interest and vulnerabilities, all these things will eventually be added to these different machines on this new machine profile. So a short video here, guys, but I wanted to share with you this. I, I really do think this will transform learning and this will make Hack the Box a lot more accessible to those who are new to pen testing, new to cybersecurity. So give it a shot. This video was not sponsored by Hack the Box, but hey, Hack the Box, if you want to sponsor me, <laughs> let's chat, but not sponsored at all. I just thought this was a really cool feature and wanted to share it with all of you guys. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.